I had always wanted to be in vet science since high school, um, but it wasn't readily available back then. I lived in a rural community. Um, I lived up in, just out of Rockhampton. So it was a little bit harder um, that available. So I went into the workforce and continued through there. So when this opportunity through UQ came available, of course I jumped at it um, and was surprised by the opportunities that I'm able to take from here on out. I have noticed that it is involvement, especially in academics. I have also noticed that there is, it's also more readily available for people um, uh, and it, it gives you the opportunity. There's other opportunities to study. So it's not just veterinarian anymore. You have the veterinary techs and the veterinary things as well. And there's other outlets that you can go through. So it used to be you had to be an OP one straight off out of high school to get into uni. And it, it's become a little bit more readily available. Being here has been wonderful. It's around me everywhere, 24-7, everywhere, every day, and being able to learn and having people work with me and support me in the industry and be able to show me, and every day I learn more. It's amazing how much I've learned here at UQ, whether it would be different if I went through a small practice, of course it had been different, so here I have the opportunity to learn a lot more. This is one of our prac rooms, so we do a lot of teaching here. So what I do here is teaching. Um, we teach uh, all the way from the first to fifth year of the veterinary science students um, and first to third year for the veterinary techs. Um, so a lot of teaching and hands-on, so a lot of pracs get done in this room here. Our dogs, uh, they've all. this is their second chance, so our d domestic dogs come from pounds. So they're uh, no longer needed and they come to pounds. So we bring them in here, we give them a behavioural and a health test and then we put them in our adoption program. They do get used here with the students so they get taught how to use a real live dog with handling, um, but they also go into our adoption program. We are able to give them uh, a new lease and a new um, life home afterwards as well. All our dogs have been health checked. Um, and cats have all been had a health check done. They've had, uh, they've been desexed, they've been microchipped, they've been vaccinated, so they come fully healthy. So for the small fee that um, adoption fee, you get a dog that would be costing you a lot less than it would if you were to go get a new puppy. And not only that, you're saving a life. Yeah, can they go online or something like that? Yes, they can go onto the Pets for Life webpage uh, through UQ, and they can also go onto the Pets for Life Facebook page. So my dad was a drover when he was younger. My pop uh, was actually the first, one of the first Indigenous drovers. Um, and I, so we grew, I grew up on the land and love animals, always have. So it was, I think, always going to be my second nature to want to work with animals. To, so have that, this opportunity has been wonderful. My mum um, is very proud and tells everyone, of course. Um, but I have a 10-year-old daughter. So, and she... She goes to school nearby and she wants to be a vet, right or wrong, so it's, it's great for a dad to show my children that even though I was a little older and went into my traineeship, that I still went ahead and didn't let that stop me and studied and learn and be able to get the, the job that I really, really dreamed of. My advice would be is you're going to work hard and that is, that is a given. So you're going to study and you're going to work hard, be open to learning, but do it. Don't let anything hold you back and go ahead and and learn and be open to your learning and it is going to be hard work there is no doubting about it but you're going to do it.